Hey everyone, it is Monique with Open Up Makes and I wanted to share with you guys how easy it is to make homemade mayonnaise. A lot of you know Dave and I eat keto and part of eating keto is trying to avoid regular mayonnaise. However, mayonnaise is actually a good thing for keto because it is a high fat food, but only if it's made with the right fats. You're most often told to try to find avocado oil mayonnaise and so far for me, I have not been able to find one in the traditional grocery store brands that doesn't also have inflammatory oils in them like soybean and things along that line. And to buy avocado mayo pre-made in a store is hugely expensive. You get the small jar and um, it's, you know, $6 for a quarter of the amount of mayo you normally get, if not more. So I decided to do some looking into how much avocado oil costs. Now, avocado oil isn't cheap, and I'm gonna tell you that right away. However, if you're not eating keto or you're not particularly worried about the oil that you use, if you aren't concerned with the inflammatory properties, then you could use you know any sort of very light tasting oil. You want a light tasting oil. You do not want a heavy, like uh, olive oil that has a lot of flavor because your mayo will taste like that. So you want a light flavored oil. Now I found this gallon of avocado oil on Amazon. It's cold press refined and it was, I think, I want to say $45. And I understand that sounds hugely expensive. However, I do everything with this oil. So if I saute anything, if I have to add oil to a pan, 95% of the time it's avocado oil and I make all of our mayonnaise and I bought this particular gallon six months ago. So, you know, it really can last. I wanted to show you how easy this is to do. Um, of course, we have our own chickens, so we have our eggs from our chicken. So what you need is, and you can do this by hand if you want. I have not tried because no, no thanks. I don't need to, but you can whip this by hand. It will take longer. I am specifically going to show you how it works with a stick blender. I make it in a wide mouth mason jar. And I use a cup and a quarter of avocado oil, one egg, salt to taste, Dijon mustard, and lemon juice. You could use vinegar if you want, you could use fresh lemon juice, and you can also add whatever kind of spices you want. If you want a, you know, a chili flavored mayo, then add some chili powder. I mean, it really is kind of limitless. Once you figure out how to do this, it's really, I think, affordable in comparison and easy. And it tastes better, honestly. This, I make one of these up and it lasts, I don't know, depending on if I make like a chicken salad or if I'm making salad dressings that have mayo in them, uh, that will last anywhere from a week to a week and a half. And you'll see that this doesn't, it's, this amount doesn't fill this whole jar. You'll see how much I get, but I'm just gonna show you what you do. Now I've already washed my egg. So it's, it's a little bit wet actually, let me dry that off. So here we have an egg, we're going to Actually, let's do this. We're gonna pour the oil in first into the jar. And you could try this with a cup of uh, oil. I prefer a cup and a quarter because I don't like my mayo to be super thick. I like there to be, you know, a little bit of uh, looseness to it. I don't want it to be liquid, but I think you guys know what I'm saying. So we put the oil in, now we're gonna crack the egg right into the jar and it's gonna settle down at the bottom. If I was smart, I would have just cracked this into the bowl because if I had a bad egg, I would have just ruined a cup and a quarter of oil, but I didn't think of it. So I would suggest if you're using expensive oil, crack your eggs, if they're not store-bought eggs, into a dish first. Now I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, and this is really just kind of to taste. I'm using kosher salt. Uh, this is my salt thing. On the bottom I have pink Himalayan sea salt. In the center I have kosher salt, and on the top I have 
uh, Maldon Flake salt. I don't know if anybody has ever had this. It's amazing. It's really interesting. It adds a neat, crunchy texture to stuff. And I only like sprinkle that on at the end uh, when I'm serving things. <clears throat> and then, I don't know, probably teaspoon or two depends on again the flavor you like of your mayo if you like your mayo to be kind of tangy use a little bit extra I am not a fan of tangy uh, so I'm gonna just put like a capful so that's probably what like maybe a teaspoon in there and like I said you can use vinegar you can use uh, fresh lemon juice whatever you want and I don't normally measure my Dijon now I, I think it was like anywhere from a teaspoon to like a tablespoon depending upon the flavor you like and I just squeeze some in there and it also goes right down to the bottom hopefully you guys can see now this is what it looks like kind of weird funky looking so we'll put this down I want to be sure that you can see it all right then you just set your stick blender on the bottom it's resting on the bottom of the jar turn it on now this is going to be loud i'm sorry but you will start to see it turn white and as it turns white i move the stick up move the stick up until eventually it just is mayo uh, and you'll see how fast this actually is guys mayo fresh homemade mayo so that's it guys that's how we make keto friendly avocado oil mayo with our eggs some salt some mustard and some lemon juice pretty easy healthier if you decide to give this a try let me know how it went for you okay bye guys